Okay, so how far we have completed in the last lecture? I think we all we are solving the problem of trust, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so which joint? I think joint C and joint D. We have solved those two joints. and i have told you uh, try to solve joint b at home so have you solved that sodo le ga tumhi nahi but amala kutra bed aste mana busy asto ami gari hai ki nahi sagle jan hm kara cha try karai cha it is good for you okay so now already you are having trust diagram with you total diagram or let it be i will draw the diagram once again quickly i will draw the diagram and then we will move to joint b to solve the joint b okay so this is the diagram from this point This is the truss loading on this side. Forty kilo newton loading is at the joints only. This is our one of the assumption of the truss. So loading is given only at the joint. In the numerical also, loading will be there only at the joint. Forty kilo newton. This angle we have calculated. I think forty-five degree. This is ninety. This is also ninety. This angle is also forty-five degree. And here, what is the nature of force uh, in this member? So I will give the name A, B, C, D, and E. What is the nature of force in member B C? Compressive or tensile? C B वाले कसला force है? Compressive का tensile है? Tensile. Tensile. Okay, so arrow must be towards the joint or away from joint. Away from joint. Away from joint. Okay, so with respect to point B, this is away from joint. With respect to point C, this arrow is the away from joint. Ah, next is member C D. C D में एक असला फोर्स आला होता है. Compressive. 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 So arrow is towards the joint. This is the arrow which is towards the joint. Now, if we think about this joint, uh, BD, BD, what is the angle of this DB? We have solved joint D, no? Yes. Ah, uh, then tensile. Tensile. So arrow is away from joint. If it is tensile, and then DE compressive. Compressive. The arrow is towards the joint when it is compressed. Okay, just one minute, ah. Huh? okay so uh, now we will move to this joint see uh, see here 
this angle is 45 degree okay now it is simple geometry also the dimensions are given you may have the dimensions of the truss you can find out this angle very easily this is 45 45 degree these two angles okay and this is the horizontal line see this is this is given as 3 meter this is given as 3 meter and then if these two angles are 45 45 then this will be also 3 meter if this is 3 meter this side is also 3 meter ae and if ed is 3 meter then ab is also 3 meter so again this angle will become 45 degree if this because this is 90 degree then these two sides are same so this is 45 and this angle is also 45 so here i will write this is 45 degree now consider the free body diagram of joint b consider the free body diagram of joint b so first of all we will draw the dotted line that is dotted vertical line and this is horizontal line this is for our understanding purpose here it is our joint b this is our joint b now see at this joint b at this joint b now this member bc see this arrow now this is the member bc b cha jawal kutla arrow cha arrow hai ha kasa hai ha tensile ka compressive hai tensile so bc is tensile what is the value of bc calculate kele na apan kiti ale bc member madla force 56.56 56 okay so member bc force in member bc so i will show here so this is my member bc okay this is the member bc the force in the member is 56.56 kN and it is tensile okay. and this angle it is 45 degree this angle is 45 degree now next force after this this is the second force bd now if you consider bd we are thinking about joint b so from joint b you can see the arrow of this force it is tensile okay this is the tensile force arrow is away from the joint so this force we will draw like this this much only so what is the value of bd 40 40 40 okay so i will draw here this is bd which is 40 kN which is straight vertically downwards This is forty kilometer. Then again, come back here. This member B E. So B E again. It uh, we don't know the force in member B E. So we will assume that force is tensile. So this is B E, which is inclined at an angle of forty five degree. He from here. And last is B A. B A is the horizontal member. We don't know the force in B A or B A member. So we will assume these two members as. Having tensile force, and if we get negative answer, then we will ch change its uh, nature. So here, B E and B A. So I will draw. This is the F B E. This is force in member B E. Okay, and take this angle. It is forty-five degree. And finally, this horizontal force. This horizontal force. Okay, this is force F B A, which is tensile. You see that this is joint B. This is F B D of joint B free body diagram. And you may observe that when we talk about joint B, we always take letter B first while giving name to the member. Here also you can see. Here also you can. See. Okay, so in this way only you have to give the names to the member. so now we will solve it first of all resolve the inclined forces the forces which are inclined those be, those must be resolved now here you can see this 56.56 degree plus uh, 56.56 kN at an angle of 45 degree so this is my point of contact one line parallel to y one line parallel to x okay ashe ache component it is ya force jar tumhi vichar kela fbe again one line parallel to x one line parallel to y 
in this way you will get two components okay from the same point of action so to avoid confusion i can show the components over here ओके चालतंय का इथं दाखवू का कॉम्पोनंट का याच पॉइंट वरती दाखवू तुम्हाला कन्फ्युजन होणार नाही वेर यू वॉन्ट ऍज पर युअर चॉईस आय विल शो द कॉम्पोनंट ओके आय विल शो इट हिअर यू सी वेदर इट इज अंडरस्टूड टू युअर का सो वन line parallel to x another is parallel to y so here i can say 56.56 sin 45 and this is 56.56 cos 45 okay then the next force next is this fb this angle is also 45 degree this angle is also 45 degree so if you resolve this one component is along x axis another component is again along y axis here is the second component so now if this is fb and this will be f b e this angle is 45 degree so this will be sin of 45 and this is f b e cos of 45 it is cos of 45 so now apply summation f x equal to 0 or f y whatever it may be f y equal to 0 upward plus downward minus hmm? now see this force 56 cos 45 minus 56.56 cos of 45 moving down minus then fve cos of 45 this b again minus then this particular return this is also moving down again minus is there any vertical force is remaining no which is equal to zero so therefore it is f b e cos 45 is equal to Minus fifty six point fifty six cos of forty five minus forty plus forty six. How it is plus forty? This forty is moving down. Then it is minus. Why it is plus? मायनस फोर्टी येणार का प्लस फोर्टी तिथं काय बरोबर आहे का हे जे लिहिलंय ते बरोबर आहे का कशामुळे प्लस होणार हे मायनस एफ बी कॉस फोर्टी फाईव्ह ला फक्त उचलून या बाजूला नेलं ही साईड तर आहे तशीच राहणार ना हे फक्त इकडे जर गेल्यावर हे फक्त प्लस होणार या दोघांचा काय संबंध यायला इकडे नेला हे आहे तशीच राहणार फक्त इकडचं इकडे लिहिलं आणि इकडचं इकडे लिहिलं की तुमचं कन्फ्युजन होतंय सो यू यू नीड मोर प्रॅक्टिस in mathematics also and in, in this subject also hmm ashi equations vagare tumhi asa bagun he karayla pahije imagine tumhala vahayla pahije ikade gelyavar he plus he minus multiply divide hmm. solve it and let me know the value of fb force in member b 113.12 uh, point 113.12 0.12 kN plus or minus 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 so we have got here minus answer so what is the meaning of this 
एफ बी इनिशियली अपन एफ बी कस घेन्साइल नाउ वी हेव गॉट माइनस आंसर सो एफ बी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व किलो न्यूटन एज इट इज एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस माइनस साइन आई विल राइट यूर सी इट मीन्स दैट इट इज कॉम्प्रेसिव इट मीन्स दैट इट्स नेचर इज कॉम्प्रेसिव ओके सो आफ्टर दिस अप्लाय समेशन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो Towards right plus towards left minus. So it is minus F B A force in this member. Again minus F F B E F B E. Again F B. Sine forty five plus fifty six point fifty six sine forty five, okay, which is equal to anything else is remaining. F B A half component all half component all okay, which is equal to zero. Therefore, minus F B A minus here it is F B is minus one one three point one two sine of forty five plus fifty six point fifty six sine of forty five degree, which is equal to zero. So now solve this and get the value of F B A. Force in member B A. One one nine point nine eight. Okay. So F B A is one one nine point nine eight kilo newton tensile. Okay, tensile. So finally, now we have got the forces in all the members F B A and F B E. So here I can show F B is compressive, so arrow is towards the joint. The arrow will be like this, compressive towards the joint, and F B A is tensile, so arrow is away from joint. This is your final diagram of truss. So by seeing these arrows, you can see that which member carries which type of force, nature of force. It will be came to know by seeing the diagram only. So now finally, we need to prepare one table. Here we should write member, then force in kilonewton, then nature of force.
draw the table with me. Okay, so here I will write all the members. Member A B, member A B, then B E, then B D, B C, C D, and D E. These are the members. And now write the values of these forces. What answer you have got? That you need to write over there. So here, A B. Then B E. B D. B C. Okay, so here AB force is one twenty kilo newton. Sorry, not one twenty. It is one one nine point nine eight. It is one one nine point nine eight kilo newton. Nature of force is tensile. In this way, you should write the final answer. Then. Force in member B E. B E is one one three point one two. It is compressive. Then B D is forty kilonewton tensile. This is fifty six point fifty six. Again, it is ten side. CD is forty. Compressive. And DE is forty. Compressive. so this is the final table this table indicates us the forces and the nature of forces in the given truss this so in this way here your first problem ends so let me know is there any doubt the problem is over you can ask me the doubt if you are having anything if you are having any doubt you can ask it to me No sir. Okay. Sir. Huh. Oh, sir, member, my dear, upon now, oh, A B actually lit. That's why my B A actually lit. There's a problem, no, no, no. No, one such member, eh? No, A B man, like I B A man, like I. But the, the ship had that, eh? That Java, well, you have joined B here, that, na. Java, you have joined B. Chief free body diagram, body diagram, draw, that, that. That, well, yeah, member, la A B man, like that, na. That B A man, like that, that. Joined, sir, now. Adi, he has such a nomenclature. It is nomenclature. ओके सर डाउट नहीं आल मध्य सर कॉलम पेज दवा पर Can you tell me once again? I was not able to hear your sound clearly. Can you tell me once again? What was the doubt? <laughs> oh. 
मला एक सांगा ही जी स्टेप इथं मी केलेली आहे ही सगळ्यांना समजली का काय केलं याच्यात बघा आणि सांगा मला लोक समजली असते तर नेक्स्ट टाइम डिटेल घेऊ इज इट अंडरस्टूड ओके ठीक आहे इफ इट इज अंडरस्टूड देन इट इज फाईन मला फक्त इथं काय विचारायचं होतं तुम्हाला इथं आपण एफ बी एकशे तेरा पण बारा आलं आणि कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह म्हणून लिहिले पॉझिटिव्ह आणि इथं एफ बी जेव्हा आपण सॉल्व्ह केलं तेव्हा निगेटिव्ह आलं होतं निगेटिव्ह साईन म्हणजे त्याच्याविषयी कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह केलं आपण आणि हे लिहिलं पण इथं जेव्हा एफ बी ची व्हॅल्यू ठेवली आपण तर इथं बघा हे मायनस ऍज इट इज आहे आणि एफ बी ची व्हॅल्यू मायनस एकशे तेरा पॉइंट बारा असं का ठेवलीये इथं तर एफ बी लिहिताना इथं प्लस लिहिलंय की आपण शेवटचं आन्सर काय लिहिलं इथं मायनस आलं ठीक आहे मग मायनस म्हणजे याला काय केलं कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह आणि प्लस केलं इथं मग हे प्लस न ठेवता मायनस का ठेवलं इथं नाव यू गॉट द क्वेश्चन काय विचारलं मी कळव तुम्हाला कॉम्प्रेसर करायच्या अगोदर व्हॅल्यू लिहिली सर कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह कॉम्प्रेसर मग हा कॉम्प्रेसरच्या अगोदरची व्हॅल्यू लिहायची ना मायनसची अगोदरची लिहायची तेच कशामुळे म्हणजे काय नेमकं काय झाले तिथं तर आपण फिगर मध्ये टेन्सल फोर्स दाखवलाय पण आन्सर मध्ये आपल्याला कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह हा करेक्ट दॅट इज द करेक्ट आन्सर बघा असं का केलंय त्याचं नीट हे एक्सप्रेशन समजून घ्या इथं काय झालं एफ बी तुम्ही कॅल्क्युलेट केलं मराठीत सांगतोय नीट ऐका एफ बी ई कॅल्क्युलेट केल्यावर तुम्हाला आन्सर काय मिळालं मायनस एकशे तेरा पॉइंट बारा किलो न्यूटन ओके हे जेव्हा तुम्हाला आन्सर मिळालंय मायनस एकशे तेरा पॉइंट बारा त्यावेळेला ते एफ बी ई ची डायरेक्शन बघा बरं कुठे एफ बी ई ची डायरेक्शन कशी आहे टेन्साईल आहे एफ बी ई ची डायरेक्शन टेन्साईल आहे तुम्हाला मायनस साईन मायनस आन्सर आलं म्हणजे तुम्ही काय लिहिलं इथं मग एकशे तेरा पॉइंट बारा कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह इथं तुम्ही लिहिलं कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह पण इथं लगेच त्याची डायरेक्शन चेंज केली आहे का तुम्ही नाही केली ना या जॉईंट मध्ये लगेच केली का चेंज पुढचं हे सॉल्व्ह करताना एफेक्ट च्या आधी एक तर तुमच्याकडे दोन पर्याय आहेत एक तर तुम्ही काय करायला पाहिजे इथं जर तुम्हाला डायरेक्ट इथं कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह साईन इथं कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह म्हणून कळालं आणि तुम्ही इथं काय दिलंय टेन्साईल दिलंय तर लगेच इमिडिएटली हे आरो खोडायचं आणि ह्याचा आरो आतल्या डायरेक्शनने दाखवायचा परत एकदा ह्याला रिझॉल्व करायचं आणि जे काही कॉम्पोनंट येतील ते कॉम्पोनंट घेऊन इथं सॉल्व्ह करायचं हा एक पर्याय नाही तर दुसरा पर्याय काय आहे की माझा आन्सर आलाय कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह ठीक आहे पण मी डायरेक्शन अजून चेंज केली आहे का त्याची नाही चेंज केली मी तसंच ठेवलंय टेन्साईल म्हणून मी हे आन्सर न घेता वरचा आन्सर युज करणार पुढच्या इक्वेशन मध्ये हे दोन पर्याय तुमच्याकडे आहेत जो पर्याय तुम्हाला सोपा वाटते ते तुम्ही युज करा ओके यू कॅन युज दॅट ऑप्शन समजलं का yes, हा एक तर इथंच तुम्हाला पॉझिटिव्ह तुम्ही कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह दाखवले दाखवले ह्याचं साईन चेंज करून घ्या आणि ह्याचं साईन आतल्या डायरेक्शनला दाखवा त्याप्रमाणे कॉम्पोनंट घ्या पुढचं कॅल्क्युलेशन करा नो प्रॉब्लेम ओके आणि जर तुम्ही असं करत नसताल इथं कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह आलंय पण तुम्ही इथं कॉम्प्रेसिव्ह दाखवत नसताल तर ज्या आधीचा आन्सर आलेला आहे विथ निगेटिव्ह साईन ते कॅरी फॉरवर्ड करा आणि ते वापरून सॉल्व्ह करा दॅट से पण जॉईंट कम्प्लीट झाल्यावर मात्र तुमच्या मेन डायग्राम मध्ये इथं तुम्हाला ते दाखवणं भाग आहे इथल्या तुमच्या डायग्राम मध्ये तुम्ही व्यवस्थित दाखवायला पाहिजे ओके सो इन दिस वे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व्ह द न्यूमरिकल सो द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लेम फाइंड आउट फाइंड आउट द फोर्सेस फाइंड आउट द फोर्सेस इन द मेंबर्स ऑफ ट्रस्ट इन द मेंबर्स ऑफ ट्रस्ट given below given bit so i will draw the diagram
okay this type of press is given now here here is a load of 40 kN here it is 50 kN 60 kN at this point this type of support is given <clears throat> and here at the point this d point roller support is provided now i will give the names first i will give the dimensions this is 2 meter and further it is also 2 meter 2 meter and 2 meter loads 40 kN 50 kN 60 kN And this angle is also given yeah. 60 degree, 60 degree, 60 degree. This is also. So these are the angles. Yeah. Now, how you are going to solve this? I will give the names. Name is A. B, C, D, and E. Now let me know how we are going to solve this problem. This is all correct. How to solve it? What will be your first step after seeing this diagram? What will be your first step? After seeing this diagram, let me know what will be your first step. You saw this, this is the 40 kN force, 40 kN force, 60 kN force are acting at B, C and E. At point A, a type of support is given, at point D, another type, at point A, hinge support is given, at point D, roller support is given. Okay. So now what is your first step? How you are going to solve this problem? That is my simple question. How you are going to approach this problem? First of all, we need to find the uh, joint where there are two unknowns. Okay, fine. Then find out that joint. Where you will get such a joint? A, B, C, D, E. B and A. B and A. At the joint B, there are three members. B, A, D, huh? D. At D. D and A. Answer is totally wrong. At point D, you can see member D, C is there. And member D is there. And what about the reaction which you will get from the roller support? So, three unknowns will be there at point D. See, here will be one more unknown is there. I have told you how which support gives you how many reactions. So here you can see roller support is there. This is the uh, horizontal plane. So the reaction of the roller will be vertical. So here you will get one reaction. This reaction we will call it as RD. Now RD is your third unknown. So this joint also you cannot solve. Then here if you come to point A, here there will be two reactions. First is VA and second will be HA as it is in support. So the resultant of HA and VA will be RA. So another unknown is there. And now at, at A you can see AB is one member. ACA is another member. And then HA and VA. So four unknowns are there at point A. At point D three unknowns are there. Hmm. How you are going to solve this then? Hmm? Yes, what do I say? Hmm? 
It is very simple. First of all, find out the reactions. Hmm? Find out the reactions. What is the value of HA? What is the value of VA? What is the value of RD? Apply movement about A equal to zero for whole truss. Apply movement at A equal to zero for whole truss. Earlier in the earlier chapter, you are applying for the beams. Now we, will, we are going to apply for the truss. So if I apply movement at all the forces about A equal to zero for whole truss, then I can take the moment of every force, 40 kilonewton force about point A, 60 kilonewton force about point A, 50 kilonewton force moment about point A, and then RD into four. The total distance is 4. So you will get the value of RD. Then apply summation FY, you will get the value of VA. Then apply summation FX, you will get the value of HA. Once HA, VA and RD are known to you, then you can start from either from joint D or either from joint A. So you can start from either from joint D or either from joint A. Okay? So what do you think about it? Yes, sir. Okay, so now we will take Moment. Now. Roll number 20, Vaishnavi. Okay. So, movement at A is equal to 0. Clockwise movements are positive. Anti-clockwise movements are negative. Here now A point is there. Here is point A. Our force is 40 kilonewton, which is at point B. Now what is the perpendicular distance? Now force is vertical. If I extend the line of action of this force, see if I extend its line of action of the force, I will draw the straight line. I will extend the line of action of this force. So this is the line of action of this force. This will be the line of action of the force. So this force can be moved along this line of action. So this is your perpendicular distance. This distance is your perpendicular distance. Okay. But before that, you can see this triangle. In this triangle, this angle is 60 degree. This is also 60 degree. So this remaining total angle will be also 60 degree because this will become equilateral triangle. So this total angle is also 60 degree. So now the side opposite to 60 degrees, 2 meter. So a side opposite to uh, this 60 degree angle. So this should be also 2 meter. This side is also 2 meter. This must be also 2 meter. The similar case is there. This is 2 meter. This is also 2 meter. And this remaining will be also 2 meter. Okay. So now see, if you see the line of action of force, this force is vertical. This angle is 90 degree. Now this is your hypotenuse, 2 meter. So you can easily find out, let us say that this length is x. Let us say that this length is x. So here I can use cos of 60, cos of theta is equal to adjacent side x divided by hypotenuse 2. So therefore, x is equal to 2 cos 60. It will be 1 meter. It will be one meter. So this length, this length, it is one meter. This is one meter. Now similarly, if I drop the perpendicular or if I extend the line of action of this 50 kilonewton force, so this is the line of action of the 50 kilonewton force. It is vertically downward force. Okay. Same thing is there. This angle is 90 degrees. Okay, this hypotenuse is 2 meter. So this remaining, this one from this distance will be this to this, this much of distance. This will be 1 meter. This is 1 meter. Okay. So now we will take the moment of all the forces. Here I will say the moment of HNV is 0. So first is 40 into distance is 1. It is clockwise, so positive. Then this 60 kilonewton plus 60 into 2. This distance is 2. Again, plus 50 into 3. 50 into this to 2 plus 1, 3. 
minus 4rd is equal to 0. Therefore, rd is equal to Let me know the answer. Say 77.5. Rd is equal to 77.5. Okay. Positive answer or negative? Positive. Positive. So our assumed direction is correct. Okay. So I have drawn this for your understanding. Huh? This line of action and everything here. It is not there in the numerical. It is for your understanding. I, I have drawn. Okay. Moment yet, sir. You have done this. One, two, three, three, two, three. That is what I have done. So now R D is equal to seventy-seven point five. Now take summation f y equal to zero. Take summation f y equal to zero. Upward forces positive, downward forces negative. Now we are applying for whole truss. So V A is moving upward plus V A minus forty minus sixty minus fifty plus R D. So here I will write V A. Minus 40, minus 50, minus 60, plus Rd is equal to 0. Therefore, Va is equal to 40 plus 50 plus 60 minus Rd is 77.5. Therefore, Va is equal to. Seventy two point five. Positive or negative? Positive. 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 So our assumed direction is correct. Now after this apply summation fx equal to zero towards right plus towards left minus. Now which are the forces are present over there? HA is only the horizontal force. So there is no horizontal force acting on the truss and there is no horizontal reaction except HA. So HA must be zero kilometer. So therefore, what is the value of RA? RA is equal to your VA, which is equal to 72.5 kilometer because your HA is zero. Because your HA is zero. So the result value will be R A is equal to under root H A square plus V A square. So H A is zero. So it will be under root V A square. So square and square root will can get cancelled. So R A is equal to V A. 72.5. Okay. Now we will solve the problem further. Once we got the value of this H A, V A and R D. Now consider join D. Free body diagram of joint D. Free body diagram of joint D. So we will draw the free body diagram first. D joint. So DC is one member and D is another member. This is joint D. So member DC, we don't know the force in member DC. So we have assumed it as a tensile. Now D is also a horizontal member, but we don't know the force in that member. So here it is D. F D E F. D E N D C. What is the angle? 
60 degree. Okay. And here reaction RD. It will be acting from here. And the value of this RD is because the value is 77.5. What is the value? 77.5. Okay. It is 77.5 kN. Now solve this numerical. Before solving this, resolve the force. So I will resolve this into two components. Instead of showing over here, I will show here. Okay. It's a dakun saga kitchen karna baksha is a side la dakole. Actually, he don't component jahit. Actually, these two components should be here. Here is the position of vertical component, and this horizontal component should be drawn here. When I apply some down on a second lane. But it should ask a court of Sunaka. We will see point of action of a drawer application. So here it is FDE cos of 60. And this is FDE sign of 60. Is it right? No, sir. I'm a Kaisalata. X axis over cos pi j and y axis over sin pi j. Correct. So here, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. Here, it should be sin 60. And here, it must be cos 60. OK? Because this 60 degree angle, you can see here, nearer to the x component. Okay, so I take cos will be there. Now apply summation fy equal to zero. So upward forces positive, downward negative. So upward is 77.5, which is positive, plus F D E sine sixty is equal to zero. Therefore, F D E is equal to solve it. Eighty nine point four. Eighty nine point four. Positive answer or negative answer? Negative. Huh? Positive. Or negative. Negative. Okay, my negative sign is F D is minus. Sir, this is F D C, right? No. Upon F D C, let's resolve it. Ah, right, right, correct. We have resolved F D C. D is not. A J is not D C, right? So this is FDC, FDC, and this is also FDC. And the final is FDC is equal to what is the final answer? Minus eighty nine point forty eight. Forty eight kilometer. Now we have got the minus sign. Therefore, our corrected answer is FDC eighty nine point forty eight kilonewton compressive. Ata baga. Hmm. Itha apan hi lile. आता पूर्ण कैलकुलेशन करता ना तुम्हाला ही माइंड जाले कि एफडीसी का एक कंप्रेसिव है तब मैं कि एफडीसी ची लगे जब तुम्हें साइन बदल ले इतना कंप्रेसिव वाला करूँ गया इतना तो एफडीसी ची वैल्यू एज इट इज़ ही जाली थी वहाँ पर आई थी पर आता तुम्हाला माइंड थी कि एफडीसी कंप्रेस तुम्हें डायरेक्शन चेंज न करता है एफएक्स इक्वेशन जावेला वहाँ पर था तावेला ही आंसर चाहिए जी आदि सा आंसर आ गया लगे इसे ये उड़ा लग सकते हैं आपको ओके सो हियर आल्सो नाउ आई नो इट इज कंप्रेसिव बट आई एम नॉट इमीडिएटली नॉट चेंजिंग इट्स डायरेक्शन तो आई विल चेंजिंग इट डायरेक्शन ल F D C cos cos sixty is equal to zero. 
तो माइनस एफ डी विल बी एज इट इज माइनस एफ डी सी इज अगेन माइनस एटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर्टी एट इन टू क्रॉस सिक्सटी फिर सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ डी ई गुड इज आंसर Minus so here also we have got the minus answer. Therefore, F D E is equal to forty-four point seventy-four kilonewton compressive. Now here you can see. First of all, we have calculated this D C, and it is eighty-nine point forty-eight compressive. So go to your main diagram. Here, DC DC is the compressive. So compressive means arrow is towards the joint. So show the arrow like this towards the joint. Okay. Then secondly, when FDE FDE is forty four point seventy four, but it is also compressive. FDE. So here FDE it is also compressive. So it, it is like this. Okay. the remaining problem we will solve in the next lecture What is the date today? Seventeen February. Okay, seventeen February. Okay. Timing is four. Okay, option two number. Rule number one. Present. Two. Present, sir. Three. Present, sir. Four. Present, sir. Five. Present, sir. Six. Present, sir. Seven. Present. Eight. Present, sir. Nine. Ten. Present, sir. Eleven. प्रेजेंट सर एटीन नाइनटीन Present. Twenty. Present. Twenty one. Present, sir. Twenty two. Present, sir. Twenty three. Present, sir. Twenty four. Present, sir. Twenty five. Present, sir. Twenty six. Present, sir. Twenty seven. Present, sir. Twenty eight. Present. Twenty nine. Thirty. Present, sir. Thirty-one. Present, sir. Thirty-two. Present, sir. Thirty-three. Present, sir. Thirty-four. Present, sir. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Present, sir. Thirty-eight. Present, sir. Thirty-nine. Present, sir. Forty. Forty-one. Present. Forty-two. Present, sir. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-five is present. Okay. Forty-six. Present, sir. Forty-seven. 
ग्रुप वरती कल की तुम्हारा अठारह तारखेला है ना फ्रॉम आज का युटी आज का तुम्हारी युटी आज मैथ ची होती ना संध्या सर टाको मन का पेपर साढ़े चार सर साढ़े चार साढ़े पांच आप लोग बहु मैं संध्या वे उद्या साढ़े चार अदरवाइज लेक्चर ऐसी टाइम लगे सहाज लॉजिक वॉट इज द लॉजिक इन बैंड दैट टाइम वाई वी शुड टेक एट सिक्स पी एम Is there any notice you have got on your group, Telegram group? Alay ka sa kay? Nahi. Ah, ma sa kay asli dar mala sa angad jawa because I am here in the civil department. I am looking in my department. So sometimes if the notice is uh, given by the first year department, then sometimes me pagit lel nasti. Man me to mala vichar ka story am ka kaay ka sa. Okay, bogu, to me udhar sa lecture darun sala udhar kiti asta apna lecture. उद्या शुक्रवार है ना वॉट इज द टाइम टुमोरो फॉर आवर लेक्चर अकता ना अकता टाइमिंग धरन चला अकता जर नहीं तो साढ़े चार दोन टाइमिंग मध्य तुम्हारी युटी हो टाइमिंग तुम्हें प्रिपेर करा अकला नसल जमत तो अक बारह मी लेक्चर घेन साढ़े चार तुम्हारा युटी चाहे पेपर दिला जाए और अदरवाइज अकरा हो गुगल फॉर्म सारूटी वन सारे सो बी प्रिपेर सेकेंड युनिट तुम कम्प्लीट है सो बी प्रिपेर ऑन दैट युनिट ओके सो नाउ आई विल एंड द लेक्चर एंड द लेक्चर